it is time that we stand up and give hope. We have seen humanity at its best. We have seen that uh, in the great sacrifices of the frontline workers. We have seen the doctors, the nurses, the many, many ordinary individuals who have put their lives in harm's way to help others. That is hope. We have seen a vaccine developed in record time. That is hope for the United Nations to come together on a presidency of hope and begin the recovery uh, is what is required now. I intend to convene a special event to give countries the opportunity to come together and give that final political commitment. Yes, we are committed to the 1.5 degrees. Yes, we care about humanity. In the Maldives, where I come from, we live day in, day out with the threat of climate change. But we will never give up hope. Humanity will rise to the occasion that we will survive. I pledge that I will not sit in any panel that is not gender balanced. I intend to make sure that uh, the issue of gender continues to be one of my top priorities throughout my presidency. Multilateralism is the only way forward. I want to give that opportunity for young diplomats from underrepresented countries. And that is why I, I have launched a president of the General Assembly a Youth Fellowship Program. Give them the opportunity to work with my office so that they will be able to experience what happens here. The best investment in multilateralism is investing in young people. The General Assembly is the only body which has the 193 countries represented. And this body, when it speaks unanimously, when it decides on matters, that is the international conscience. It is the one opportunity where you can make a difference. And one opportunity where a small country like the Maldives can make a difference. The legacy of the Maldivian presidency, the presidency of hope, I hope will be there for a long period of time.